Premium tanks are known for costing money. If you make your way over to the store at any given time, you will see a bunch of premiums and collectors for sale. Getting a K91 is going to cost you 24 US dollars. Getting a Carnarvon Action 10 is going to be 8,500 gold. This bundle here is 15,000 gold. And obviously, to get your hands on gold, you have two options. Either watch a bunch of free ads every day, complete clan events, or you can purchase it. And purchasing it is not cheap. To get that bundle we were looking at, it's 17,500 gold without a double double gold bundle that is a fairly expensive purchase but the tank we are currently looking at the is5 is available for just 1500 gold just completing clan missions weekly participating in free uh, events which give you gold boosters and by simply watching ads i guarantee you can get your hands on the is5 within just a few days i mean 1500 gold is not a lot if we make our way over to the clan tab, I will show you exactly how you can unlock this vehicle. So if we take a look at any clan that has uh, level 10 access, and we just got to wait for this page to load here, Wargaming's uh, API is quite slow. But if we take a look at the clan tab and we go down to resources, we can see that getting clan supply level 10 specifically gives you the IS-5 available for purchase. Once you've reached level 10, you can purchase this vehicle for 10, or sorry, 1500 gold. Now, you also need to get a personal supply of 10. Now, this isn't too hard to do. Just by simply playing the game, you will unlock these two things. My free to play account only has, I think, 2500 games on it, and I already have an IS5 on that account. So it shows you just how easy it is to actually complete these missions and get your hands on the IS5. So, in today's video, I am going to be showcasing how to play in this tank, its overall capabilities, and uh, why I actually think this is a really fun vehicle to mess around with. Let's start off with its mobility. It's actually fairly fast at a top speed of 42 kilometers per hour and a power to weight ratio of 16.4. The gun features 230 mils of standard pen, which is really nice. 305 on the gold, which is crazy good. That's going to cut through any armor in front of you. It has a nice damage per shot of 400 and decent DPM at 19. While the vehicle does not feature a good dispersion, running refined gun will obviously give you a bit better dispersion uh, at 0.33. It's still not great. I think this vehicle is like 0.407 base or 0.39. It's bad base dispersion. This is why I run refined gun on this vehicle, because it actually makes the dispersion somewhat manageable. It's not great, but it's better than nothing. So here we are on Mines. Mines is not a great map. But it's not the worst either. The problem with the IS-5 is that it's got the classic Soviet syndrome of no depression. So you are not able to work ridgelines incredibly effective. But we should be okay. I'm not sure what our soul leader is doing, but it'll be interesting to see him try and make that play there. So we got the KV-3 and Chonk. There you go. Nice 416 damaging shell. And we back up. We can see here where that pretty good penetration cuts right through our opponent's armor. And not only that, but the uh, the gun on this tank, while it's not good, is definitely not bad. I was not worried at all about the KV-3 cutting through me either, because it's got a tier 7 IS gun, which only has 189 mils of pen with Cali. It's not great, and it's something that you're definitely going to have to be cautious about. If the side of the Liva, there you go, nice 438 damaging shell into his tank. Let's actually plop on our adrenaline. Ooh, we have an IS-2 shielded on us. That is not what I like to see. Alright, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to briefly aim it on that Progetto. I'm going to miss the shot, because... Honestly, the IS-2 shield is going to back up anyway, so I figured I might as well shoot. Now, we actually got hatched by the Progetto, I would expect, because there's no way we got shot anywhere else in our tank. So, let's use that mobility and squeeze over here, aiming on the IS-2. Chonk, there you go. Nice 417, and the Progetto gets the clear. Pretty good stuff. We're up to 1600 damage now, and we are going to start climbing back up the hill. We can see the mobility on this tank is... Pretty good, and that's what I always like about this vehicle, is the fact that it is a fairly mobile heavy. You're not going to have to worry about being caught out in the open or, you know, anything like that in this tank, which is quite nice. We have the Luva, and uh, let's just aim on his turret. What? That was like the most beautiful shot ever. Went exactly where I wanted it to and everything, but I guess 300 mils of pen is not enough to cut through that player. Well, we're going to reload again, and uh, let's see if this time we're able to cut through his turret. Here we go. Aiming, aiming, and... Ooh. 
Yeah, you, you can see the one thing that sucks about Soviet heavies, and the gun. I mean, it's it's not uh, being sugarcoated here. The gun on this tank is not great. You will miss a lot of easy shells with it. It's a little bit disappointing in that regard. But thankfully, we can drive over now that the Luva missed, and we'll get the clear on him. However, what I didn't expect was for the, the Borsig to be staring at me, so we lost a lot of health. However, the Progetto killed himself for that play, so... Not sure if that was the best maneuver that player could have made. We also know that that Borisig shot us from this bush right here. So if we count from three, two, one. Oh, well, I was going to blind fire it, and then uh, he'd ended up dying anyway, which is pretty funny, actually. Uh, we have the T-34, and we're going to aim in right on his vehicle. There you go, nice 400 damaging shell. And all that's left is the SMV, who is right in front of us, but he is dead. So, I mean, this wasn't anything ridiculously incredible for a tier 8 game, but it was a good result, and it shows that even in the map where the IS-5 doesn't have much gun depression, you can do fine. We did 2,400 damage, we got a third class, and we were able to net 30,000 credits, which is not bad. It's a premium tank. We fired a decent amount of gold there. You can see that this tank will earn you credits. And if you are a player who does not have many premiums on your account, especially heavies, in my opinion, heavy tanks are the best premiums. Mostly uh, because you have more hit points to work with, it's less punishing, and usually it's just easier to earn credits in. There are obviously other premiums which are really good, certain mediums can be great, but in general I think heavies are always the easiest to earn the most credits in, and it's why I always recommend to play heavies or choose heavies as your premium of choice. So what are we going to do? We are on Middleburg. And up against us we have an Action 10, Defender Mark 1... Um, honestly, they got some strong tanks, but I'm not too worried. Again, we're going to use that good mobility this tank has. Climb up the hill at the beginning here. The IS-5 has a top speed of 42 as we went over. And that actually means that it's faster than most heavies in the game. It's faster than the Action 10 on the enemy team. It's faster than the KV-3. It's about the same speed as the IS. And it's faster than the Semovente Contra Caro 64. So when you add those things together, this is a fairly quick vehicle. And you're not going to have to worry too much about mobility. So we are just going to slowly make our way in. We got the WZ-132. We got the Defender. And I'm a little cautious about the defender, but at the same time, my whole team's making their way up here, and I feel like I can just push this guy off. So we get the bounce, and now this defender is going to back off because he's scared. There you go, nice 440 damaging shell. Is our team going to help me with this uh, WZ? Well, the problem is it doesn't look like they are. That's going to be rather annoying as this game progresses. So let's see, we have the defender, and I'm actually just going to drive right out and get the clear. It's a very easy shot, and there's no reason not to take it, especially when it looks like the rest of their team is not really supporting them all too much. We have the WZ, who we're going to get the clearing shell into for 387, and now we're going to make our way over to the Semovente Contra Caro 64, all the way in the back. Is this player stock? No, it does not look like they are stock. He did shoot, though, which means I'm just going to drive right up here, and there you go. Easy shell for 374. The AMX-13 M24 is going to roll off to his side. He's dead. Just like that, we've already done a pretty good job of clearing the enemy. Now, while I do agree with that defender, if you saw he typed in chat, you went town so you lose, I agree with the fact that it's a 4-3 split, so they are probably going to lose this because they went town. But I disagree with the fact of how aggressive that player maneuvered. You know, that defender really made way too aggressive of a play and got heavily punished for it. And you don't want to make over-aggressions when you don't have your team supporting you. So it's some yin and yang. Now, our team is, while winning, not doing a great job here. Our AMX is one shot. The Barask is pretty low as well. These are things to keep in mind. We have the uh, CS, and we get a nice 380 damaging shell out. We're doing pretty good. And this is kind of where the IS-5 feels really solid, is while you may not have, like, the most DPM, for example, what you do feature is just a solid gun. And this gun, especially on the rear of, like, an Action 10, there you go, 450 damaging high explosive. We still have 900 health left, even after being shot there for a, a solid chunk of our HP. And now we are going to, uh, well, I'm actually just going to aim it on the Action 10 and get an easy 410 damaging shell out. 
this was a good game. This was a really, really good game. 3,600 damage, and all that's left is the CS-53, who is obviously going to die. I don't think we're going to get the shell out. No. I even put on my adrenaline hoping that I could, but we were not able to get that shell out. However, a good game, two kills, and a victory. So we can see the IS-5 in general is a pretty solid heavy. It's got a great gun, and while it does kind of suck in terms of its accuracy, its pen and damage per shot do get the job done. So it's not terrible, especially if you let it aim in. So this game, we did a, li a little better in credits, 86,000 earned. And by the way, I should mention I'm not running credit boosters or anything special. If we take a look at the credits tab, I got 18,000 for special awards, and we just spent our credits on consumables and provisions so it's a good credit earner it's a fun heavy and the fact that it's only 1500 gold makes this a absolute steal so i would highly recommend to try and get your hands on the is5 if you don't already have a level 10 clan supply and if you do and you didn't know you could buy this tank now you do know hopefully you enjoyed today's video i'll see you all in the next one Bye bye